What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Shaka Antoine. Today's video, I got a really nice one for you guys. Uh, first, well, let me start off by saying, I hope you guys had a very happy Thanksgiving. By the time you see this, it's going to be after Thanksgiving, so I want to make sure I say happy Thanksgiving to all of you out there. I hope you guys enjoyed your time with your families or didn't spend it alone. Right, but today's video is going to be a nice red hot bite. Classic fall time scene, peanuts, bunker, adult bunker everywhere, and fish were on them. And uh, Lou and I were definitely just, you know, we spent the morning analyzing everything before we decided to get to our, our location. Oh, but first, before we go any further, I want to remind you guys, please continue to smash that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, make sure it's on all so that you'll get notified for when I come out with these videos. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah, so today's bite, man, was red hot. It was red hot. It was, man, I just can't explain it. It's a classic fall time scene. And, um, you know, fish were very cooperative. Fish were on the on the bait. It's one of those situations where if you picked the right location, the right pod, follow the right birds, and you were on some fish. You know, we started off here, um, you know, first light, and uh, we were just noticing how calm everything was. But one thing that we noticed that played a major role in today's bite is we were watching what the birds were doing. All, every bird that we could, we we were able to start to see, because it's, you know, the, it was getting, uh, it was first light, they all were heading in the same direction. Not really stopping. As it got lighter, we saw some birds doubling back. That's usually a clue. It's a very good idea, as you know, to pay attention, especially at first light, Pay attention to the behavior of the birds because they're doing the same thing we're doing. They're looking for the bait, looking for fish on the bait. So it's very key to uh, a key strategy is, uh, is to pay attention to the birds' behavior. If they're up high, looking down low and hovering, they see either fish or bait, but that means they're low out of reach. If they're low to the water and following the fish are on top or at least within range they're just trying to wait for an opportunity so that's what we did first we just kind of noted what the birds were doing and said all right we need to we need to head to the left there because every single bird in the sky was heading left uh so he's like all right well why don't we just head up to that certain area there but first let's observe make sure that we're not going to be leaving fish and it pretty much, you could have decided to go anywhere. That's how widespread things looked like they were about to just bust all over the place. Look to our right. All right, we see some activity starting to develop. Look to our left. All right, activity in front of us. All right, things, we could tell that things were about to start just going nuts. But we wanted to make the right decision as to where we, were, we wanted to be. We started right there. You know, my first two fish were tiny, but they were fat. It was comical at how fat these fish were. <laughs> Just fat, full of peanuts, fat. Classic full time scene there. So we decided, all right, you know, let's leave this alone and let's head to the left. Because uh, we could clearly see that that's probably where all the, um, the majority of the activity was gonna be. Got the binoculars out and definitely get there man it was things just developed fast into a red hot bite multiple people hooking up at a time it was great I was getting them on top water my, my uh, trusty guppy pencil the yellow one of course with uh, one of the dress hooks that my boy Al makes for me all of the fish were hitting the dress hook thankfully um, but those first two fish hit the mag daughter the smaller one Everything else for me was on uh, top water, on my guppy pencil, 
I caught two fish that were in the teen range, maybe 15 and 16. But all the others, you know, they, they were keepers. Decided to keep one for the table, you know, it was Thanksgiving Day, so. I wanted to take one home for the family. I haven't taken a fish home. I can't even remember the last time I took a fish home. It's been years, so. And this fish, I may not, my wife doesn't want it in the house, so. And she probably won't eat it. So I'll probably take it to my mom's house, or if not, take it over to a friend that I've been promising the fish. <laughs> so uh, it was a great bite, man. Happy, to, I'm very happy that I decided to come out and fish for the first couple of hours of Thanksgiving. One more thing I wanted to add, see what eventually ended this bite is all the bunker just basically moved out. You know, the fish started thinning out. I myself was, uh, spent some time following a pod of peanuts there was no fish on that and uh, that just started to progress as the day got a little bit later so we was like all right it was a good good trip so why don't we just cut our ties head home to the families you know with some fish Yo, it's moving. Second to last guy. Chasing the ball. Guy just landed one. Oh, I'm casting right there. <sighs> Getting too old for this. <sighs> oh yeah, right in the middle of it. It's a diaper. Yeah. Oh, here we go, here we go. Um, Maggie, the small one. No, no, I said Maggie. Let's go, baby. Fat little sucker. Cheese. Come down. Woo! How fat this little thing is. Ooh. Ah. Yeah, there you go. See how fat you are? Whew. You porker. All right. Big bull right there. This guy's throwing bait. Come on. Whoa, bro. Oh, right there. Right there, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, it's such a baby! Such a baby! So cute! Are you so cute? Are you so cute? 
Hold on, hold on. Other way, other way. Pull it one in. Ooh, look at that bait ball out there. Yeah. Looks like you got a nice one, huh? Yeah. Oh my god, look at that bait ball. Look at the bait ball. One guy's hooked up. Lou's bought the cast. I'm looking for one in range. Fish are moving. Oh, ooh, ooh, look at that. Look at all that. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. My man's hooked up. Nice one, nice one. What a time, I think. Hey. Reeling them in, huh? Oh, another guy hooked up. All right. I'm just going to take a cast. Oh, Lou's hooked up. There you go, Lou. There you go. Come on, baby. Where you at? One took a swipe at it. Come on. You want it. Make sure I'm not in your way. Loose fish, nice one, nice one. I'm gonna keep this one. Cool. Thanksgiving yeah. bass. <laughs> what you got, a shag? What you got it on? Okay, uh, uh, yeah. What? Okay. okay. <laughs> oh! There we go, there we go. There we go. One the guppy. Oh. One the guppy.
trying to use that way. Looks like a keeper. Oh yeah. Thanksgiving bass. Fifteen. Fifteen. Another guy hooked up. Let's see if we can get another one. Right away. This is why I came. Well, it looks like the bait ball is coming back my way. I'm going to aim for the one that's further out. Right in the middle of it. Right in the middle. Let's see if I get a hookup. Let's see if I get one. Oh, look at all the bait. Look at all the bait. All right, let me hurry and get this in. Get another cast in. Oh, look at all this. Fall time, baby. Oh yeah, there you go. Nice hook up. We shall stay on them. <laughs> Trust the old guppy is doing it. Well, at least they hit me. That's all I care about. All right, let's see what we got here. Some that way. Some here, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. right there, right there, right there, bro. Right there. Got some big bunker out there. that guppy fly right. mm -hmm. I was wondering what that sound was a man lose on two fish <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Small pot of what looks like peanuts right in front of me. Don't know if there's any fish on them. Just trying to throw my plug behind them and work it in.
Running and gunning with the bunker. And the fish. Alright, so please, if you would like to make any video suggestions, leave that in the comments below. Alright, so please remember to have a blessed day and 